Today I'm here with Mark Rigby, Executive Chef of Premier Foods, looking at the new Bristol sauce range that have just been launched. We've got the new sauce granule range, uh, which we've got a range of four products. We've got a cheese, a curry, a parsley and a bechamel sauce. They're quite unique because uh, this is the first time that, that we've actually launched a sauce granule uh, into the sauce market. Most of the sauces, in fact all the other sauces on the market, are a sauce powder that you've either got to uh, let down with a little bit of water or you've got to cook out on the stove. These are completely instant and as a granule uh, they're a very uh, free-flowing product so they're very easy to dose uh, directly into either water or milk for three of them. The curry sauce only goes into water so very easy to dose as soon as you put them into water they thicken the sauce within about two seconds so at the point that you put them in they give you the sauce the right thickness, the right colour and at the right flavour as well. With the cheese sauce we're going to do a cod cauliflower uh, and chorizo mornay. So you can either make these sauces with water or with milk. I mean if you're making them with milk it's enriching them further. They do have whole milk powder uh, in the actual sauces as well apart from in the curry sauce. I'm just going to uh, gently fry off some of this chorizo, just kind of colour it a little bit, release some of the oils in the chorizo then we're going to tip that out bring the milk to the boil in this pan and then we're going to show you how the sauce granules work uh, when we thicken it with the milk as well. Ideally what you want to do in any kitchen is you don't want to be throwing flavour away, um, especially kind of the flavours that catch the bottom of the pan because that kind of help, helps enhance your dish. The milk's just coming to a simmer now so we're just going to pull the cheese sauce granules in. And do you have to stir all the time? You know, if in a busy kitchen environment, no, if you just popped it in and give it a quick stir and walked off, would it go really lumpy or was it? No, it wouldn't. I mean, they, they usually disperse quite well. I mean, you can kind of, you can, you can kind of leave it and it will, um, it will just, uh, it will disperse uh, and work, work its own way. And again, the same, the same as what you'd normally do with the gravy granules. I mean, most gravy granules, when you, when you throw them into the, uh, to the water, they don't, they won't lump. Yeah. As long as you do start to whisk it very quickly afterwards. Yeah. yeah? So yeah, so that's nice and thick now. A little bit of Gruyere cheese. So again, you can add as much as little uh, as you want. I mean, it's a great cheese flavour within the cheese sauce uh, itself already. You can add more granules. You can still add granules at this stage when it's a thickened sauce. They will continue to thicken and won't clump actually in the sauce. Oh great! Or you can add more cheese into the sauce, which, whichever whichever you want to do. But obviously, adding more cheese is more cost. Yeah. Uh, but you do then enrich it both in flavour and nutritionally. Um, as well. It's just a twist on a on cauliflower mornay. The cod we've used today is the 195 gram IQF country range cod fillets, frozen at sea, individually frozen, and it comes in a pack of 15. Pour over the cheese sauce, nice and evenly. And then sprinkle over some breadcrumbs, and then finally some of the Korea cheese. Just get a little bit more colour as it browns off at the end. I'll take that for you. Cheers, thanks Rob.